Oh, butter my butthead and call me a beavis. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Uh, thank you to Animal for that catchphrase submission. Ooh, I wonder if that's the Muppet Animal. That would be exciting. Boy, a celebrity catchphraser here on Comedy Bang Bang. Uh, of course, he would say it a little bit <laughs> differently. I'm not going to even attempt to do an animal impression. Uh, welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Second episode of the year. We are so deep in Janny. Janny Danny. We are so, so deep. Uh, 2021 shaping up to be a spectacular year. And, uh, this year is no exception. I don't even think that makes sense. What I just said, but, uh, welcome to the show. My name is Scott Ackerman. I'm the host of comedy bang, bang, and, uh, have been the host and will be the host until I perish and, uh, pass it on to whomever I state receives the show in my will. I know that Jerifer, uh, Jerifer, oh, Jerifer, character Wheaties. <laughs> What's his name? Jeffrey. Jeffrey wants it. Uh, I've called him Jason Manzoukas so long that I forget his name is... is uh, Now I want to say Jennifer Character Wheaties. Okay, that's not it. Uh, Jeffrey Character Wheaties, but um, welcome to the show. We have a great show coming up. We have a, uh, a writer coming up a little bit later. Uh, and uh, we have our old friend here uh, coming up here at the start. We have... Um, she is an entrepreneur of sorts. Uh, she runs the W Hotel, not the chain, but the W Hotel here in Los Angeles. Uh, and she also has uh, some sort of a cucumber in a bun uh, business that she, uh, quite honestly, it did not sound like it would last through the quarantine, but we'll check in and see how that's going. Uh, please welcome back our old friend Bean Dip. Hello, Bean Dip. Hi, Scott. How are you doing, man? Hey, I'm doing really good. Good to see you. It's been a few months. It's been a few months, but I'll tell you this much. You are wrong when you say cucumbers and buns are not profitable because I've made a lot of money over the last few months with cucumbers and buns and carrots and buns. So right. in your face. Weren't, weren't, weren't you saying that you could have anything as a topping you wanted, including like very expensive items? like Yes. You could get caviar on your cucumber. <laughs> you could get um, hot mustard. You could get Dijon mustard. You could get mustard with the granules. Could I get an Xbox as a topping? You can get a, a blended Xbox. We'll put it in a blender and we a will blender. blend it. Yeah, we'll f put it in tiny dust all over your cucumber dog. See, this is how why I don't think it would be profitable because some of the things you're mentioning and you sell the hot dogs for, I think, 75 cents or something like that. So I'm 75 cents. If you want an Xbox on it, though, it will be 1400. <laughs> okay. See that? Okay. I understand that. The markup on the Xbox is quite high. Um, it's, it's great to see. I'm glad to hear that everything's going well for you. Although, uh, I don't know if everything is going well as much as you've mentioned the one thing, your cucumber and carrot everything's in a bun business. Everything's going well. My love life, business life, f personal, exercise, food, air quality, everything's going great for me. What's going on with your love life? But I don't think, I don't know that we've ever talked about that. I mean, oh, uh, let's God. talk about your love life and then your personal life. Okay, fine. Don't get me started, but. <laughs> no, please do though. I want you to get started, uh, now. Are you familiar with, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rattle off a couple of names. Oh, okay. You so you're telling tales. You're, you're, uh, naming names. All right. Yeah. Well, sure. Are you familiar with Ben Affleck? Are you familiar with Angela Merkel? Are you familiar with Kamala Harris? Are you familiar with Ben Affleck's brother, Casey Affleck? Well, let's take them in order. Uh, ben Affleck, I know uh -huh. from Batfleck, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Angela Merkel, you said? <laughs> yeah, Angela Merkel. Are you familiar? <laughs> yeah, I am indeed familiar with Angela Merkel, not from Batfleck. Uh, and then you have Kamala Harris, of course, uh, the uh, who w will be the vice president in about a week. Yeah, vice. And, uh, and then uh, Casey Affleck, who is uh, brother to Batfleck. So, yes, I'm familiar uh, with all four. Okay, well, all of them have been my lovers through quarantine, and I'm done with all of them. They were fun <laughs> while they lasted. <laughs> so Kamala, was this during the campaign? or uh, It was during the campaign, and that's why I had to end it, because I'm like, bitch, I need more time from you. Oh, uh, okay. So you weren't, yeah, you weren't getting what you need from her. Not totally. Can I get real? She was pretty good about chow and box, but she was not good about making meals, spending time, looking in the eyes, all that. Yeah. Do you expect your lovers to make all the meals? Yes. I expect my lovers to make all the meals. <laughs> How many meals do you eat a day, by the way? Six. I, I, 
<laughs> six a day. Yeah, see, this uh, is this is why it's kind of dicey to get involved with a bean dip. Well, is it dicey or is it good for your health? The, all the statistics and every scientist for MDs will say six meals a day instead of three if you want to be healthy. Well, six meals a day, I mean, that's, that's hard to do, uh, especially during quarantine. Do you have supplies there in the house? I mean, guess what? It's not hard. It's got when you make a giant pizza and eat it four, six times in a day. But Kamala was too busy to make giant pizzas. Yeah, uh, well, I'm, yeah, I guess to make giant pizza. Do you have a wood burning oven? Or? I have a wood burning stove inside my house and out in the backyard. <laughs> two wood burning stoves. Also, two wood burning stoves at the W. So if I want to make a special pizza, I go to the W and get it made. <laughs> so a special pizza you can't get made in one of your two wood burning stoves there at your house. Uh -huh. You then need to go. To the W. It's an ingredient issue. It's a spicing issue. It's like a... Te they know how to do the, te the Tetris of pizza, TM. Oh, <laughs> what is the Tetris of... Meaning... Meaning put them where they fit, make the most space, don't put <laughs> things by things that shouldn't touch, <laughs> fill in the holes. What, should, what shouldn't touch on a pizza? Pepperoni <laughs> should never touch a pineapple. <laughs> okay, I guess, although... Technically, it all ends up in your stomach, and it's all touching. Isn't that right? Well, wrong. And then it, then it comes out the butt, and it's all touching there, as far as I can tell, unless you have diarrhea. Well, take a science class, because they do <laughs> not mix in your stomach. If do, you they, do they cover diarrhea in science class? I think I would have been far more interested if week one, it was like, all right, look, I know, <laughs> I know this is a biology class. Let's get it out of the way and talk about diarrhea. Uh-huh. Well, but... but uh, basically, I'm talking about a science class, not a biology class. And yes, in a science class, you will cover diarrheans, you will cover solids, you will cover half halfies. That's when it's half diarrheans, <laughs> half sure, solids. Yeah, I, I understand what a halfie is. <laughs> but if you try, if you don't understand this yet, get on the LACC website and get a science class because pepperoni goes in a different box in your stomach than any pineapple does. What? Everybody knows it. Is this like how cows have four stomachs? Uh, we have two, and one pepperoni goes in one, and pineapple goes in another? Scott, can I ask you something? Please. I mean, I've asked you all the questions. I would prefer to be asked them. I just said, is a different box inside your own one stomach? Did I say four stomachs? <laughs> No, Bean Dip. No, you did not. I apologize. I, I should listen more carefully to my guests. Apology accepted. Thank you for your condolences. So, uh, so it sounds like you've been eating really well during quarantine. That's great. I've, yeah, I've been eating great. I've been eating great because my lovers know how to fix the food. And the second they don't, hit the bricks. Yeah, I can only imagine that that's really hard. I mean, uh, has there ever been a, a time in your life when you've gone hungry at all no there was a second there was a second where the uncle and Michael, well i thought this bitch is not gonna make my schnitzel this morning but then she showed up she had i didn't realize that she had been at the dmv and had run late <laughs> so she made it but there was a little period of time where i thought i'm not gonna get to eat in the, a lot of time i'm i'm gonna eat and this what bitch, was Angela this Merkel doing fight. at the DMV? <laughs> she's just trying to get her American license. Trying to get the right picture? How she says it is like, I'm trying to get the right picture on my American license so when I visit from Germany for my summits that I can rent a car and do good driving. I'm like, bitch, don't. Make my schnitzel. Get out. So my follow-up question is, do all of your lovers have to make food that is uh, uh, native to their home country? That's why. So Angela Merkel is making schnitzel, I guess. Uh, Batfleck and Kaffleck, they're they're making Boston baked beans? They're making, or? They are making Boston baked beans. They are making dark dark beers. They are making mm. um, French fries. But they make a lot of bar food. Yeah, yeah. But, and Kamala, you get the best of uh, two worlds, I would Kamala, imagine. Kamala, I get the best of two worlds. I get, hey, give me some American pizza. Also, I can get, get me a curry going. So, wow. So, I, I would imagine your time with her, your belly was full. My belly was full. Let's get real, Scott. My heart was full. She just was not doing the greatest job. So, she had to 
Hey, yeah, well, she has she has a lot of stuff going on, you know. Especially now, I mean, she's she's going to be in Washington most of the time. Uh, okay, you well, deserve, good luck. You deserve better. Good, thank you. Good luck, good luck, Kamala. Thank you, Scott. Twenty twenty one is upon us, and anything happened to you uh, in twenty? I mean, I know the the year is new, but uh, what's been going on in twenty twenty one? How's your twenty twenty one been? It's hard well, to say twenty twenty one. I mean, it's like twenty twenty was so easy, and then twenty twenty one, twenty twenty one. It doesn't even sound like a thing. Well, watch this. 2021. Easy. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> well, the year has been interesting because I usually don't talk about my fa- my family of origin. Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't really know where you're from or anything about you. Well, I'm from a few different places in the United States of America, but my father is still alive, and he has been in oh, the news lately. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, he's been in the news lately? Wait, wait, how do you mean? He's been in the news lately. I don't know if you've heard of him. His name is Bean Dad. <laughs> wait, wait, Bean Dad? Uh-huh. Bean Dad is your father? Bean Dad is my dad. Wait a minute. Are you the Are you the girl that was trying to open the can of beans? That's my little sister. Oh, okay. Okay. Because you know how to open the can of beans. I do, but I, believe me, I've been there where she is. Where that, <laughs> where that bastard's looking down at you saying, hey, get it open on your own, bitch. <laughs> so, so that's your father. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I, I, I guess I should have put two and two together, bean dad and bean dip. Well, I mean, it seems like it would make sense. If it's I'm right this, there. You have the same family name, bean. If I met a bitch Wait, are, named Is Trixie. Mr. Bean? Me, Mr. Are you related to Mr. Bean? Mr. Bean is my uncle. Wow, he hates cancel culture. He does hate cancel culture. My uncle hates cancel culture because he's <laughs> You've like... You've always said it. <laughs> my, I've always, since way back, my uncle hates cancel culture. And I feel like he hates it because he's like, uh-oh, then I won't be able to make my eyes go wide at surprising things. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry to hear about your dad. Yeah, he's been going through a rough time ever since he uh, told the tale of, uh, uh, I, I guess, uh, depriving your sister of beans. Yeah. That, well, does your sister is your sister all right? Does your sister have enough beans currently? My sister, her name is Shocky. Sh- Shocky Bean Shocky. <laughs> bean Shocky. <laughs> bean Shocky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> bean Chalky's been calling me and saying, I'm fine now. I have all the beans I want. I have also bread. I have also... What about puzzles? Drink. Is she good on puzzles? I because have, I know that, that uh, your dad was hoarding one. I have plenty of puzzles. I have beans. Don't worry about me, sis. But I said, do I need to come down there and take care of Bean Dad? So I called him and he said, hey... I'll do whatever I want. Remember when I made you open your own can? But except mine wasn't beans. It was peas. Oh, I thought you were going to say a can of whoop-ass. That would be like a nice like uh, insult for him. I dare, like, uh, I like, dare be down to try to open a can of whoop-ass on me. <laughs> you either open this can of beans or I open a can of whoop-ass. That would be that would have been a great uh, addition or addendum, at least, to the story. But um, Shocky's well, going to ha- come live with me. He's good. he's or your sister uh, uh, Bean Shocky's going to come with. Bean Shocky's going to come with. <laughs> Bean Shocky, where's your mother in all of this? Oh, pass away. Oh, it was that Mr. Bean's uh, sister, or is or is Bean yeah. Dad? That's Mr. Mr. Bean's, Bean's brother. That's Mr. Bean's sister. My mom was named Mrs. Bean. Mrs. Bean. No, yeah. no. Well, wait, is Orson Bean involved in all of this as well? Orson Bean is a cousin of mine. We don't talk a ton, but Thanksgiving, I love to hang out with Orson. Yeah, wow. Well, you ha- I, I mean, that's great that Shockey Bean, or Bean Shockey, rather, is going to come live with you. And uh, has has your father been arrested? I, I haven't quite kept up with the story. I don't know what's going on with it. I'm going to wait till Bean Shockey is safely at the W, and then sure. I'm going to call. I, I have SWAT on my text. I'm going to SWAT. Te- <laughs> You're going to SWAT him? I'm going to SWAT him. I'm going to text SWAT and say, Go on, get Bean Dad. <laughs> then they'll go in and he take him, and he'll go away to prison. And Bean, Bean Shocky is going to live in my house. Well, B- Bean Dip, I'm I'm sorry to hear about the troubles with your family, but I'm glad you're all right. I'm glad your sister will soon be safe and secure. Uh, Thanks, I'm glad Scott. I'm glad your father will be behind bars very soon. Behind uh, bars, pretty soon, never to release. <laughs> so he's getting life for this transgression. 
He's getting life for this. I'll make sure of it. I already spoke to a few Supreme Court justices. <laughs> How many? Because I, I think there's seven. Is that right? I spoke to five. That's the majority. Whoa, the majority. Mm-hmm. And they said, don't worry, Bean Dead. We'll make sure he's in there forever. And we'll make sure bad things happen. I hope you're in this, Bean Dad. <gasps> bad things are going to happen. Who dissented, by the way? Guess. Kavanaugh. Oh, Kavanaugh. <laughs> yeah, he wants to hang out with uh, Juki and Spitz or whatever. <laughs> he, this was his exact sentence. Well, Bean Dad seems like fun to have beers with. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Thanks, Kavanaugh. Man. Yeah, thanks. Uh, well, uh, Bean Dip, it's great to have you on the show. Are you excited? Uh, I, I need your strong co-host energy here because we have right. uh, we have a writer here on the show. I uh, love writers. Up. Really? Who's uh, your favorite? Uh, Stephen King's. Stephen King's? Is uh, that different Is that different than the, the horror author? No, the, that's the horror author, Christine Cujo. Silence a lot. Sir, Sir Lancelot or Silence of the Lot of the Lambs? Is that, what, what did you just say? Salem's Lot, but also oh, Sa- oh, Salem's Lot. And also Silence of the Lot of the Lambs. <laughs> a lot of the lambs. Most uh, of the lambs. If most we're being of the honest. lambs, but some got away. Run, these little bitchies. What is that story that he told about? I know it's, the whole title is based on it. Something about lambs being loud or something? I know I should know this. <laughs> okay, I'll do, the whole mo- <laughs> I'll do the whole monologue for you. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Hey, Clarice, how, how could you get in here? Who let you in? Security? Listen up. <laughs> Why is he surprised? Like, security would be surprised if she got past them, maybe. But, like, he should just be accepting of any visitors he has. I agree, but who are you going to tell besides Stephen King's? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Clarice, how'd you get in here? This should not be allowed. Listen up. <laughs> so uh, very quickly moves on, <laughs> gets over his initial f- questions about the uh, uh-huh. uh, why she's there, and then now wants her to listen up. And now listen up. I used to live somewhere, and I used to watch you. I knew you lived on a farm. You were the kind of girl who was dirty all the time, and you looked like a little boy, you bitch. I saw you playing with the lambs and you would say I want to keep this one, I want to keep this one and your mama would say we need our meat, we're going to have our lamb and rice tonight so get out there with the knife and cut their throats. So you went out and you cut the throats and they screamed. All the lambs still screaming, (laughs) Clarice. But he never says now they're silent or... Now you're oh, hearing the silence of the lambs? or that, I left it off the monologue because she just stares for a couple of minutes. Oh, okay, so a full 120 seconds of screen time, just staring. Uh-huh. And then he goes, the lambs are silent. So it's, uh, so the, 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 whoever came up with the title, Stephen King, I would imagine, is yeah. taking a few liberties. He's not taking a direct quote of of the silence of the lambs. He's saying, but sort of changing it a little bit. He's making it more metaphorical. Ah, uh-huh. beautiful work, the, Stephen yeah. King, one of the best living authors. Well, we have uh, maybe perhaps the second best living author uh, coming up on the show. Uh, excited for this because we're going to talk to him together. I can't wait to talk to another great author. Wow. Well, we'll we do have to take a break. Uh, when we come back, we'll have more with Bean Dip and more from this writer. Uh, I'm not quite sure who it is. My producer hasn't given me the name, but uh, we'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> My name is Dr. Diana Deep. I am a famous, beloved, unlicensed couples therapist who uses my years of unauthorized training to help people find harmony again in their relationships. I have a brand new podcast called Going Deep, and it's exclusively available on Stitcher Premium. In this podcast, you will hear from real couples experiencing real problems and learn from my very real, not fake expertise about how to go deep into your own relationships. Here's my producer with all the technical information. Listen to Going Deep only on Stitcher Premium with appearances from Paula Tompkins and Janie Haddad Tompkins, Scott Ackerman and Cool Up Eli Sock, Mary Sohn and Zeke Nicholson, and more. For a free month of Stitcher Premium, go to stitcher.com slash premium and use promo code DEEP on a monthly plan. That's stitcher.com slash premium, promo code DEEP. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here. Uh, wonderful show. We have Bean Dip here, uh, uh, hanging out, being a co-host. I need you. Uh, I, I need you in there, interjecting 
anything that comes to mind, I need you to uh, uh, s- tell me to shut the fuck up. Great, like ask- this? Yeah. I mean, yeah, <laughs> you, you could have come in a little earlier great. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. But- okay, great. All right, but we do have a, a, a writer on the show. Is that right? Uh, I'm asking, uh, our, by the way, our new producer, Devin, here with us. Uh, and uh, yeah, just give me the information. Um, uh, wait, this is, I mean, this isn't a writer necessarily. I mean, he writes raps. Is that what you meant by this? He ra- Oh, okay. He is a, uh, 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 we've talked to him before. He, he has written, uh, you can't even say that he's written raps necessarily, but uh, he is you, an you original can't. member. <laughs> An original member of the Sugar Hill Gang, That's according right. to him. Please welcome Cal Solomon. Hi, everybody. Hi, Scott. It's good to see you. It's great to see you. It's uh, a happy new year. May I be the first to say this to you? Uh, you are not the first. I'm sorry to say. I've seen other people since uh, the last time I saw you. So, yeah, some other people have said it, but you're still getting in there pretty early. Were people saying it to you last year? I mean, since the last time I saw you, that was like Five months ago? Some people did say Happy New Year when it was getting close to New Year's Eve. I hate that. They want to be the first. I hate that. <laughs> they knew, I think just as a, as a pleasantry. And they knew they probably weren't going to see me between New Year's Eve and the New Year. And so it sort of became like a, a Happy New Year because the New Year's coming up. Oh, I see. So like if I don't see you, Happy New Year kind of thing. Yeah, it's like a shorthand. Sure. I understand. Speaking of shorthands... How, how big are your bad boys there? Hold them up to the camera if you could. You know, I have very long hands. <laughs> Whoa, those are really, oh those are like God. E.T. size. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I you never look down at your hands anytime we've ever done a show together. <laughs> I keep them hidden because I know they're distracting. <laughs> what I the, mean, how come it's got knobs on the end of the fingers just like E.T.? Oh, hey, hello, young lady. My name is This Cal is Bean Solomon. Dip, by the way, Cal Solomon. Hi, Bean Dip. It's nice to meet you. Hi, Cal. Nice to meet you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, dear. Shorthand. Shorthand. So it looks like you, it looks like you have 10 of like Uma Thurman thumbs. Here's what it is. Are you are you talking about from that one movie? <laughs> yeah, even, from the, no, even from all Cal movies. Get the, even Cal Girls <laughs> Get the Blues? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Um, my favorite Tom Robbins adaptation. Uh, <laughs> I have, I do have very long fingers and they're so long that at the very tips, another knuckle started to grow. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so is that, does that come in handy at all? Is that a good thing? No, I mean, it's that- actually a hindrance in many ways. Because now you can bend your finger in, I guess, three different places. Well, no, okay, it's two. just it's just the knuckle is right there, and oh. there's nothing to bend because it just stops oh, at the knuckle. Oh, it's at the tip? It's at it's just the tip. So where are, your, <laughs> where are your fingerprints? Below the knuckle? My fingerprints are below the, the extraneous knuckle, which makes it very difficult to operate anything like a touch screen, you know, things like that. Right, where, something that requires a fingerprint something identification. Something requires a fingerprint identification. <gasps> although. Although. You can now probably not leave fingerprints on things when you're pressing buttons uh, and uh, murdering people, I would imagine. This is great news. (laughs) Well, I mean, I'm not so much of a murderer, so it hasn't come in handy in that way. Have you ever, have you done anything? uh, Let's say. Sure I have. (laughs) <laughs> okay, but let me be a little more specific. Oh, okay. <laughs> have you done anything in 2021 or 2020? Sure I have. <laughs> okay, but again, I'm going to narrow it down slightly. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry I keep jumping the gun. <laughs> that you didn't want the police to know sure you were done. Oh, there was more. <laughs> Wait, you were going to say sure after that you didn't want the police? No, I didn't. I, I don't want the police. Um <laughs> But uh, no, I'm, ACAB, of course. I mean, I'm I'm a pretty American cucumbers are bountiful. I'm a, uh, I'm a I'm a pretty I'm a pretty law abiding guy. You know, I don't really get into too much trouble. Uh, so uh, you know, the the having the fingerprints be hard to get on stuff <laughs> hasn't been something that's worked in my favor. Yeah, yeah, I can only think of uh, you know one or two examples of it. Being a bummer, you know, like uh, trying to turn on your phone, but uh, I can think of a lot. Yeah. Or maybe Uh, like when you're picking up food at a restaurant. When I'm picking out food at a restaurant? When you're picking it up, like you got a to-go order, you're not trying to get your fingerprints all over the to-go order. 
<laughs> that's true. <laughs> I know that's a pet peeve for a lot of people when they go get the to-go orders. Yeah. <laughs> and by the time they get it home, it's covered with fingerprints. Yeah, it's, it's just covered with smudges everywhere. Nobody wants it. Ah, we need some sort of way to fix this. <laughs> Don't you hate when you're taking your trash out and you, well, have, that wrap. Ni- you have that nice... Oh, boy. I hadn't thought about that, but... <laughs> This is quite akin to your previous rap, is it not? Have you ever been in in your own house and you have to take the trash out? I mean, the the bag is shiny. It's it's black and sleek, and you, it makes you want to shout. So you pick up the bag, but don't don't you realize you got fingerprints all over the bag, and now it's smudged and and it's, it doesn't look like new anymore, and it looks like trash, which I guess is okay because it's the trash you're taking the trash out. <laughs> <sighs> oh boy, you lost right. it right that there. It got the away. End. It got away from me. Got I feel like the me. logic got involved there, where you started wondering why you wouldn't throw away something well, that was smudged with fingerprints. Exactly, exactly. And as as always happens, I got my first rhyme in there, and then I got so distracted yeah. by feeling successful at getting the first rhyme in that I couldn't hold it together. That's the like story Icarus, of my you life. Flew too close to the sun. Hey, Cal. Is that a tr- yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, bean dip. Talk us a little bit through that. The joy, the joy and elation you feel from your first rhyme and how it derails you thank you didn't he just i well (laughs) but i i i think what bean wants is is for me to go into greater detail about which i'm happy to do if that is the case i'd love it (laughs) here's the thing here's what it feels like is that um now look I have established before on this program, and I, I, I hope it's not uh, uh, too annoying to repeat it. I do like to rap. I'm not very good at it, but I think I can get better. That's right. And so I, and so I keep trying, even though it hasn't clicked quite yet. <laughs> you, you, still, at a certain point, I feel like you had improved. Where you I, got through two rhymes or I've maybe got, three? I think I may have gotten as far as three rhymes. And uh, it, I can't figure out if it, if it helps to have a musical backing or if it hurts to have a musical backing. <laughs> At this um, point, let's just say you shouldn't have one and we'll just see how yeah, it goes Yeah, I there. mean, we don't, we don't need to, you know. Um, uh, we don't have to, to get those results right now. But I, cause, cause the topic is how does, how good does it feel when I get a rhyme out? <sighs> When I say that, when I say the word that I know has to rhyme, like when that happens first, I'm like, okay, I said that word. That means I got to rhyme that word. That's how rap goes. And that's usually the, the last word, uh, that occurs on the last beat of a measure of four. Is that how it is? <laughs> Something like that. I mean, I don't know music, but, uh, when you're going, uh, have you, let's say, to, for example, let's take Rapper's Delight. Have you ever been over a friend's house to eat and the food just ain't no good? Now, you know that a rhyme with good is coming up. So in my, in my rhyme, in my rap that I, ju- <laughs> in my rap that I just did, uh, where where what was it the word out i think um, it was out yes and so i think okay i gotta i gotta it's coming up i gotta get i gotta think of the think of the words it's it's a it's a funny thing where you your mind is doing two things because you're talking but you're also thinking about what's coming up next and so i get to that part and i think uh okay shout rhymes without and i talked about being happy so this all makes a logical sense then by the time I realize, like, okay, I did it. I feel so good inside. Like <laughs> everything's going according to plan. This is everything. I feel almost a, 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 a religious zeal. Like, um, everything is falling into place as the creator has planned. <laughs> then what I start runs, to trip what, what out. What runs with religious zeal, by the way? Uh, a, a, a nice cut of veal. <laughs> that's great, Carol. But I mean, that's easy to do because they're right next to each other. But in a rap, they'd be farther apart. <laughs> so then when I start thinking about <laughs> when I start when I go into that, that state of religious zeal, then I start thinking about the existence of God and, and oh. what does that mean? And, you know, where do you land on that on that, by the way? The well, I just I just don't know. I guess I'm an agnostic. Okay, so you 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 don't believe that there's a god, but I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure. Right. But I think there's got to be something up there that's responsible for everything because otherwise, how would we have great raps like Rapper's Delight? 
That's right. So that uh, yeah, what like what's the the thing on earth that makes you go there's got to be a god other than rapper's delight. I think dandelions cuz the two things. First they're the 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 thing you make the wish on and then they become the yellow thing. <laughs> So they serve two purposes. One, make a wish, and then to be the yellow thing. Yeah. <laughs> to look like a pretty weed. For me, horizons. Oh, so you think when you look at any horizon, or do you, or did you say Verizon? I just want to make sure. I actually thought Bean Dip said Dead Bones Horizon, the old camp song. <laughs> <laughs> I know it, know it, Indian, I know it, brother, I know it. We, Dead Bones Horizon. <laughs> did you say that, Bean Dip? I said Horizons, but I'm also oh, okay. a, I also have a Verizon phone, and you do. Oh, okay, I love that song. Oh, you're now. a green bubble person like me. Does Verizon make phones, or are they just the carrier upon other phones? Oops, that's right. They're just the carrier. Yeah, and oops. I got carried away thinking of Android phones, which I do have, <laughs> and Verizon's my carrier. And by the way, during this pandemic, we don't want to be a carrier. You know? Uh-uh. Ooh, that's true. So carriers are two things as well. Good. Stuff. I don't want to be an asymptomatic. Hey, have you ever been? Hey, 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 have you ever? Now the hay is messing me up. Yeah, the I, hay is I, because I, hay almost is like getting our attention too much. Like you'd rather slip under the radar a little. I didn't used to do that before, and now somehow I can't not do it. <laughs> hey, have you ever been the victim of quarantine because of pandemics raging outside? I mean, you got to stay in. You can't see your friends, and you 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 can't show hair nor hide. You got to run <laughs> to the doctor. Oh no! Oh no! No. Then the next line, I immediately contradicted no, no, my no. premise. Yeah, well, you got to run to the doctor. You well, still no, have a rhyming no, but word coming up. I did, but it's about... No, I had the rhyming word. I had the rhyming word. You think doctor is the rhyming word? I think it no, was coming up a not, little bit later. Doctor is not the rhyming word. But no, I mean the I, sec- your, for your second run. For the second, but I contradicted the whole premise of the first, which is you have to stay indoors. And then right. I, I talked. I talked so we much can about make that. Exceptions for doctors. But I mean, maybe that would have been where I was headed. I don't know. But I feel like I said by saying you got to run to the doctor, (laughs) I should have started with you make exceptions. What the exceptions are. Start. Okay, start there with the exceptions. (laughs) Yeah, sure. You said you should have started with the exceptions. So go ahead. Start there. Well, I should have started the second. Now saying start the whole rap. Yeah. The exceptions. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, start the whole rap with the start exceptions. the whole rap with the exceptions <laughs> in media res. Okay, uh, I'll try it in situ. All right. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you're doing that. Hey, a hey, lot. <laughs> I can't. It's in there now forever. <laughs> hey, hey, there's a few exceptions to a quarantine <laughs> when you when you got to stay inside, like running to the doctor, g- uh, limited grocery shopping. And, 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 oh, <laughs> oh man. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to make no, get your head there. That's all right. I, I, yeah, I, I, this is like a tin cup situation where I think I, you got to like cup. get rid of all, all, all of the change in your that's pockets. That's a special thing. Yeah. Uh, what does that mean? Tin cup where you got to get rid of the special change in your pockets? Kevin, well, uh, you have a Costner. Yes, thank you, Kevin Costner. Uh, he he at some at some point he's got the shanks and he real you know they they make him take out the all what? the change. He he keeps uh, 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 kind of slicing his ball to the left or to the right. I'm not quite sure. And it's in his head, and they make him take out all of the change in his pocket and do a. It's like when you uh, have the hiccups, you're trying to get someone's mind off of it. You have so. to take your money out of your pockets. <laughs> I mean, it might help. I've never Next tried you get that. The hiccups. But I'll take give all it a, of your money out. I'll give it a go. You know, I always carry a, 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 every coin, every American coin. In my every pocket. single one. So what are we talking? JFK, Pen- penny, da- nickel, dime. Quarter, Kennedy half dollar, and then whoever is the current uh, dollar coin. What about Sacagawea? Are you are you when Sacagawea was was the dollar coin? That's who I had. Do you have every bill as well? I have one of every bill. (laughs) So even the million dollar bill? Well, no, the ones that are in circulation. Oh, okay. So the ten thousand though, you have one of those in your pocket. No, that's not in circulation. What's the biggest the 10, one? Ten thousand. The biggest one in circulation is the one hundred dollar bill. That's Star- the biggest, starring Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder if he ever has an understudy on any of those bills. He does, Scott. 
<laughs> didn't show up. Who is his understudy? <laughs> Every now and then he'll have a understudy of Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> no, oh, I think so that would be some, confusing. Sometimes you'll get a hundred dollar bill and Abraham Lincoln's on there. Yeah, but, and you but think, dressed up as Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> yes. That's the only way you know, because otherwise... It's pretty much just the bifocals, isn't it? Yeah, because if you get an Abraham Lincoln $100 bill, you might think, oh, man, this, this is, is a only five. a this is only you, a five. Scott, do you think that the only physical difference between Benjamin Franklin and <laughs> Abraham Lincoln is bifocals? Well, I mean, that's the major tip-off. Maybe he has to, you, you know, think that's the major difference between... Maybe, otherwise, maybe he's got to cover to sure. up uh, his beard with, like, uh, a, a fake Jay Leno jaw or something like that? Sure. I think of them as looking very different. Also, <laughs> Benjamin Franklin, I don't think, is wearing his bifocals for the official portrait that's on the $100 bill. He's that's true. Maybe it's maybe the hat is the difference. It's a wig. Okay. Scott, it's white hair all bond. It's white Wait, hair and black uh, hair. Abe Lincoln's hat is a wig? <laughs> that but, huge stovepipe? Ben Franklin's hair is a wig. Ben Franklin's hair is a wig. <laughs> ben Franklin's hair, hair is a wig. Ben hair is a wig. Hey, do you, do you, have you ever looked down at a hundred dollar bill and Ben Pikeley's wearing his wig? I mean, you you, you got to think, got to break this down because the the bill is way too big. I got to get some change. Got to get some five, some tens, and even a twenty. Then I'm gonna go run to the store. Not when it's when it's uh uh, uh when plenty, it's approved. Plenty. When it's approved, Scott, you throw me off. When, when it's when, I'm when throwing it's, you off. When it's approved. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was, you, see, you I were was trying, struggling before I was, I, I, was I was, but I, I was trying to look for a clear path from 20 to honey, which is something you buy at the grocery store. Um, but I also wanted to have a safe message in there and say when it's approved to go to the grocery store. And of course you have to stand in a line six feet apart from people and they only let a certain amount of people in at a time. And then I just started thinking about all the rules and I got lost. And then when you were saying, uh, plenty, um, then I started thinking, well, I said 20. Can I get away with saying plenty when uh, uh, it should be pronounced 20, I guess, but I say 20 because I guess it's a regionalism. And then you can you can see I just got way off sure. track. Did you ever get to the existence of God on that train of thought or? No, for the first time, I, I was so, because well, I, because I think I thought of the second rhyme, um, faster this time, uh, I didn't even get to the God part. And, and so we tin cupped you in a way and got you, cup. <laughs> got you not thinking about God. That's a good thing. Is it a good thing to not think about God? I mean, <laughs> I do, well, I as mean, I say, um, I'm agnostic, but I, but I, I think it's good to have spiritual guidance. Sure. But on Monday through Saturday, we can think about our raps. Certainly the money's gone already. <laughs> well, Cal, whether you thought about God or not, that rap started off great. Thanks, Bean. Sure. You're so uh, supportive, Bean Dip. I, I love this. You. I mean, uh, I, uh, I'm really, I'm really buying what he's selling, man. I'm, I'm picking up what he's throwing down. I would love to have an album. Wow. No one is literally. No one has ever said that to me. Thank you, Bean Dip. That's very encouraging, indeed. I, of course, I, 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 I have. I wish that I could do, release an album someday of raps, but I haven't. I've yet to get through <laughs> one. Have Have you ever thought about writing them down beforehand and then just reading them off of a paper? Well, I mean, I guess I know I that, I know that. that Jay Z, when he gets into the studio, he comes up with who them is off that the again? Dome. Jay Jay Z. Okay, see, here's another problem. You don't even know the major players in the genre of music in which you want to be a part of. I'm not real well versed in modern rap, huh? So What's, I don't know a lot of these new guys. Who are the old school people you know? Oh, you know, like uh, Sugar Hill Gang. <laughs> sure, <laughs> the one group that you are a part of for five what? minutes at a barbecue. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> And not even official. I don't think you were officially recognized as a member of the group. I think I, that you said that you were a member of the group very quietly off to the side, and no one contradicted you because they couldn't hear you. I think that I. He, I mean, if you if you're gonna look at it completely honestly with the benefit of hindsight, I think I assumed I was in the group because I was there and because I did try to contribute a rap that did slow everything down, but. <laughs> I understand why the other members of the group uh, would maybe say that I was not an official member. 
Right. And what happened? You showed up to uh, the garage when they were having an official uh, uh Oh, rehearsal? have I never told you this story? I can't remember. What happened? I don't know it for sure, and I would love to. There was there was a barbecue happening. My next door neighbors were having a barbecue, and that just happened to include uh, a number of the members of the Sugar Hill Gang. And the whole gang was there, but they were not all, uh, you know, uh, residents of the same of the same house. Um, they so, weren't in a, a bubble together. They weren't mm-hmm. in a family unit. No, they were not in a family unit. This is, of course, it's way, it's way before, uh, the, uh, uh, the pandemic. I sure, mean, this, this is a long a time ago. 78, 79. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, but I was there at the barbecue along with Wanda Mike, Master G, Corio, and Big Bank Hank. And the four of them. <laughs> <laughs> The four how, of them, how did you know these guys, or 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 did did the Wanda, host of the party? Wanda Mike was my next door neighbor. Oh, okay. And was and he, he was having, having the party? The bar- he, oh, okay. No, Big Bank Hank was having the party at Wanda Mike's house. <laughs> okay, that uh, happens sometimes because he has a better sometimes house. Sometimes it happens. He has the better house. Big Bank. Have Hank, you ever what? had a party he, at he, someone he, else's house? Oh, <laughs> well, Scott, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. You got to say hey. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Next time we'll get your attention. So yeah, Big Bank Hank loved to entertain, <laughs> but he had a very small backyard, and so Wanda Mike is not a big entertainer, but very generous with his with his time and with his uh, with his home, and he would often host these these barbecues that Big Bank Hank would throw. So would, this was would, one. Can I, can I just ask? Would Big Bank Hank? clean up after the barbecue or would he no he would he's a good guy he's a good guy. Uh, big bang okay. hank was a good guy and of course he would stick around to throw away the paper plates and such um anyway uh so big bang hank throwing a party at one of mike's house uh at one point we're all in the, there's a bunch of us in the living room uh because wanda mike was very proud of his color tv and so uh <laughs> we were we were all admiring the color tv and then he just started rapping what, what were you admiring about it was it the color aspect or the the dimensions of the, the color TV? aspect was a big it was big and it was color so it was both of those things combined, combined. the fact okay. that it was a it was a it was just a for the time a huge console television that was really like another piece of furniture in the house oh so it was almost like a was it like a built-in almost built into what into the wall i mean like no it was not i mean it was it was against the wall so i guess you could say it was almost in the wall but it it was solid so it couldn't go all the way through i see and how many how many rooms in this house oh how many rooms in one how many rooms how many baths (laughs) Uh, I mean, I didn't, I never saw the whole house. I would imagine, I would imagine it was like a three bedroom house, uh, probably, uh, two and a half baths. Two and a half baths. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay. I just wanted to really get the picture. And a beautiful console color TV. Uh, and like I say, it was like, you know, TVs in those days, it was like, it was like part of the furniture. So you could put a picture frame on there. You could put a bowl of ornamental fruit. Um, have you, have you, hey, hey, have you ever gone over a friend's uh-huh. house, a, a friend's house to visit and he's got a, a big TV? You, you could put fruit on there. You could put a picture frame. You could see what you like to see. I was thinking about God. I can, ta- oh, I can just tell. I can see happened. it in his eyes. Is there anybody out there? Take, take your, take all of your change out of your pocket. You can't truly be. Oh, okay. Cal, Penny. take it out. Penny, take it out. Nickel, dime, quarter. <laughs> Kennedy half dollar, Susan B. Anthony dollar. Sacagawea? Right. No, I, I don't, I don't, Sacagawea, Shaggy, 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 it wasn't me. Shaggy Jewia. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Who was on that coin? It wasn't me. Shaggy Jewia. <laughs> okay. okay, so are you back? Are you, you're I'm not back. thinking I'm about back. God, right? I'm not thinking about God. Continue. So, uh, so, uh, Wanda Mike's, uh, house, uh, we're, we're all in the living room and we're talking about the TV for a little while and stuff like that. And then, uh, I don't know, everybody's just having a good time. And, and Wanda Mike starts rapping about the TV and how big in color it is. And, uh, and then the other guys start joining in. And then I, and this is the rap that eventually would become, uh, rapper's delight. Oh. And I didn't realize that at the time, of course. I just thought, this is a fun thing that's happening. What are these guys doing? They're talking, but people are clapping and they're, they're talking uh, to the beat, um, which also ended up being in rapper's delight. I, 
Now that I think of it, I think he was explaining it to me, what was going on. <laughs> okay, that's right. A lot of those early rap songs have explanations of why, yeah. they're, why they're rapping instead of singing. Yeah, it's very comforting to say, don't be scared. <laughs> I, I know this, is, <laughs> I know this, seems, this seems strange, but what I'm doing is I'm performing musically, even though it seems like I'm talking, to the beat of the clapping. And so, uh, so, at, so the guys go around and they each do a verse. And then I think like, okay, oh, oh, I get it. We're supposed to do this. I didn't realize these guys were kind of like a unit at the time. Mm. And so I, so they came in. in as the Sugar Hill Gang. They didn't form because of this rap. They were. Doing. I think it had been. I think like prior to that barbecue, I think they were unofficially already the Sugar Hill Gang. Okay. Um, what does then- Sugar Hill Gang mean? Well, it's where it's it's a it's the neighborhood. They were from Sugar Hill, and uh, there was four of them. That's enough to constitute a gang. <laughs> sure, Great. thank God there were four. <laughs> Otherwise, Three. it would have been the Sugar Hill Trio. Yeah, you can't, and it doesn't have the same the same sound. Sugar Hill Trio, Sugar Hill Gang, Sugar Hill Duo. Mr. Although, Sugar if you Hill. had been involved, you it would have been the Sugar Hill Quintet, perhaps. Well, no, I think they would have stuck with Gang. I mean, I I, I, I think to avoid uh, uh, jazz comparisons. <laughs> sure. People think they're going to hear some Dave Brubeck style stuff, and then it's like, no, it's it's rapping. I'm yeah, talking to the beat. That's true, Scott. You don't want you don't want for rap to start and people to go like, oh, I'm about to hear some Take Five, <laughs> <laughs> or eat a Take Five. Uh huh. Oh, do you think anyone's ever eaten a Take Five bar while they listen to Take Five? <laughs> I don't think it's ever happened. <laughs> it's impossible. The world would end. <laughs> Um, so, so then I started, I, st- I jumped in, uh, and at the time, this is before I, 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 uh, added hey to my, uh, rap style. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I jumped in saying, one to Mike. I like your TV. It's really pretty good. I, I like to be at your house right now where the chicken doesn't taste like wood. I like to eat all kinds of food, and these are the foods I'll list. I like chicken, as I mentioned before. I like uh, macaroni, which I think one of you fellas remembered. Uh, I think no, I didn't say remembered at the time. I said which one of you fellas mentioned. I'm remembering the rap that I did at the time. Oh, now I've gotten lost in the yeah. rap I was already lost in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a, double, an it's a double upon an inception. It's a double a double rap uh, fail for me, which has never yeah. happened before, and I'm I'm a little embarrassed. Sorry, Cal. How was this Thanks, received? Yeah. <laughs> no, was, <laughs> I appreciate your sympathy. It, yeah, it, it felt pretty bad. So at the t- at the time, it was not received well. No, that's I think that's safe to say. Uh, everyone, the clapping stopped almost immediately when I started speaking. <laughs> <laughs> then everyone, uh, I, I would like, they weren't staring at me so much as they were just looking down. Yeah, looking and away, but trying not to look at you. I could tell that people were embarrassed on my behalf, which is always a <laughs> terrible feeling. <laughs> and why, and why was it, was it the words you were saying or was it the mere fact that someone like you would dare presume to get in on what was their activity? I'm going to say it's a big combination of both, Scott. <laughs> Cal, is it true that when that embarrassment started that you also peed? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if I did. I mean, uh, it was a long time ago, Uh uh, but... Did the Sugar Hill Gang ever rap about that? Uh, remember our neighbor oh, gosh, when he I tried to not. rap with us? Oh, he gosh, ended up peeing not. his pants? Oh, gosh, I hope not. Oh, I mean, I was, it's hard to say if I, if I, if I avoided my bladder because, um, I felt so covered in flop sweat that, uh, <laughs> I, 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 any number of fluids could have been coming out of me at that point. Oh my God. I was well, look, drenched in sweat. <laughs> Cal, we, we have to take a break if that's okay. Sure. It's your show. Sure. Of course. When we come back, we'll get to why you're here. I respect uh, you and the rules uh, that you apply to your program. Thank you so much. So uh, when we come back, we'll get to uh, the reason Cal uh, came on the show and what he actually wants to talk about. I know we've gone down several. Uh, we don't have to. Blind avenues. <laughs> but uh, we'll also have Bean Dip here. We'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're here. Uh, Bean Dip is here with us. Uh, just jamming 2021. Jamming 2021. Hey, Scott, what's up? Let's jam. Yeah, totally. We got to jam. And uh, speaking of jamming, uh, we have uh, Cal Solomon, who is an original. Well, he's not really an original member of the Sugar Hill Gang as much as he was adjacent to them, a neighbor to one of them. 
and thought he was in the group. This is what I wanted to get to uh, uh-huh. when I asked you to tell the story, because I feel as if we've told the story of the barbecue a few times. Right. Um, what happened the second you presumed you were in is the that, group and after Scott, that? And I feel, bad, I feel bad for doing that, because I know you're not a guy who's going <laughs> to invite somebody on the show to ask them the same story over and over again. <laughs> so I, I apologize. I know that's it's got to be boring that's, for you and for the, the listener. Show, especially not in 2021. 2021, easy to say. Um, but, uh, what I want to know is, is even though you felt that embarrassment, keen embarrassment, you still felt like you were part of the group. (laughs) Yes, because I felt like, all right, I didn't do great, but (laughs) I did do what everyone else was doing. Sure. And there's always room for improvement. There's always room for improvement. I think, (laughs) Carol, are you okay? Are you crying? I'm I'm a little emotional because I'm thinking I'm just imagining I'm imagining Wonder Mike, Master G, Corio, and Big Bang Hank saying the same thing. There's always room for improvement. Saying that to you, you're imagining them, but they didn't say that to you. No, they didn't. But I I bet they said it to someone <laughs> at some point. <laughs> what, maybe one of uh, uh, each other. Yeah, I I mean, those guys were very encouraging with each other, and they had a real bond, and it was great to see and feel like I was part of for a little bit. So how long did you think you were in the group? This is what I'm getting to. Did you go over to to one of their houses the next time they got together, assuming that you were in it, or what? at what point did you find out you were not no, in it? No, I didn't really see any of those guys uh, together or separately. Uh, <laughs> Even your neighbor? <laughs> I would see him. I would see him like as he was going in and out the door. You know what I mean? But I didn't see him for any meaningful amount you? of time. I, gosh, I hope not. I hope not. I would. I would say hi, Wanda Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Wanda Mike like Wanda Vision or Wonder Mike? No, Wanda. Like he's a Wanda, oh, okay. one of the, like the seventh wonder of the world because his sure, raps okay. are so good. Like it's Brad just your dialect. Scott. I, I couldn't quite tell. Like what bean dip? Like Brad Scott giving the program. Like Wanda Bread. Uh, right, is it? Yeah. Are you a fan of Wonder Bread Bean Dip? Oh, uh, I love Wonder Bread, Wonder Mike, Wonder Woman. Anything of uh, Wonder, I'm into it. Stevie Wonder, Wonder Woman 1984? Stevie Wonder 1984. Even that, wow. Um, so at what point did you figure you, you never saw them again? At what point did you realize to yourself, oh, I'm probably not in this group? Was it when the record came out? Yeah, or? I think when I heard the song on the radio and I said, <laughs> why does this sound familiar? And then the more it went on, the more I, I, you know, I'm recognizing the voices. Wonder Mike? <laughs> Big Bang Hank? <laughs> Corio? Ma- Master G? And the rest? Um, and then I realized, like, oh, they made it a thing. Uh, oh. they're, they're a real rapping group, and I'm not in it. And, and at what point were you listening to, to like, Hip hop state. I, mean, I don't even know if they had hip hop stations at the time, but I guess it was played on pop radio. Or was it was this- played on pop radio? I heard it on Top Forty Radio. Wow. Yeah. Top Forty. And and at that point, you're still living next door to Wonder Mike. I'm or still living next door to Wonder Mike. Did you go over to his house and demand answers, or what happened? Uh, no. I I did send him. I slipped a. I I did send him a note. I slipped a note under his door saying, "Wonder Mike, congratulations! I heard your song on the radio. Uh, I'll never forget." That great day at the barbecue, the Big Bang Hank threw at your home. Uh, how much fun we had creating <laughs> rap music. <laughs> so you were trying to get in, you were writing a complimentary note, but also you were trying to get in good, Cal, right? Well, I mean, I didn't, I don't try to be too devious about things, but I, I wanted to leave the door open. Like if you wanted to record with me, of course, I'd, I'd love to record <laughs> with the Sugar Hill gang, but, uh, I didn't want to be too pushy about it. But, uh, he moved about a week after that. <laughs> really? Yeah. Did he put up a for sale sign like an hour after you left the note or not, a, not, not an hour after I left the note, but the next day. <laughs> so that was a quick uh, it sounds like a quick close quick escrow yeah i mean i i chalked it up to i mean it was a great house i mean i'm not surprised that it went that quickly well, sure a three bedroom with uh, two and a half baths and yeah. a, what almost could constitute a built-in for a yeah. television a nice backyard well no he took sure. the tv with him i think he it was the, a, sure but the built-in you know the structure of it still remains i would imagine if you bought the same size tv what <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's not a. It's kind of very confused. I feel like I did a poor job as a storyteller by implying that the TV was built in. It was not. Yes, yeah, Scott. Was, remember, it's a TV that could have a bottle of fruit on it. 
Sure. Okay. Okay. But sometimes you get have him anyway. Never. Mind. We're getting in the weeds about the house. But uh, have you checked back in on Zillow with this house and seen? Do you still live there? I still live in the same place. <laughs> <laughs> so what are what are the houses in the area like? What are they worth right now? Um. What's it going to take to get you out of this house? Is what I'm. <laughs> Oh, uh, I, I'd never, like to buy your house. <laughs> it never occurred to me to check. Well, well, Scott, why? Why do you want to buy my house? Don't yeah, you? It have sounds a house? like a great area. The Sugar Hill. <laughs> Sugar Hill is a great place to live. <laughs> I love it. I've been living there all my life. It never occurred to me to look at the prices of the houses. Did I mean, you, I, did I, I, I didn't. What, what? Go ahead. What's your question? Maybe well, I, was I was about gonna, to did answer. You, did you inherit the house, or did you, did you buy it? Or? I was about to say I inherited the house, so I've never hmm. known what it cost, and I've never known what the houses around me cost. Who'd so, you <laughs> inherit it from, Cal? I inherited it from my parents. They are deceased oh. now, but, but when they were when they were alive, they lived in the house. And did they inherit it from someone like a millionaire who uh, left them it in their will, or was, or did they buy it? <laughs> yeah, did they did they buy it, or did they like get it from a vampire who died? <laughs> hmm. Trying to think back, M- my I don't remember hearing any stories like that. So I would I would imagine they just bought it and didn't Maybe inherit you were it too from young a vampire. And they didn't want to scare you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that could be. They were very loving parents. Uh, so, so the house has been in your family for gener well, at least two generations. At least two generations. But, but decades. Yeah, that's safe to say. I'm decades old. Had they passed on at the time of the party or? Yeah, they were gone by then. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Cal, will you end then. up giving the house to anybody who you like? Well, I mean, I don't have any heirs. Uh, I'm not married. Uh, I don't think, right? And, <laughs> <Don't> uh, <laughs> And, <laughs> and you know, I, I don't know who I'd leave the house to. I mean. What about the Big Bang Hanks family? <laughs> I, to, the, to the best of my knowledge, Big Bang Hanks family is doing pretty good. I think all of the guys ended yeah. up doing okay. Master G, Corey, Corio. Um, I, I think that I think they're all right, you know. Although in the streaming era, you know, maybe they could use some, uh, you know. I mean, you have to stream a song a thousand times for it to count as a as a sale, you know. Oh, I, mean, I see, I see. This so uh, music like, business accounting, I tell you, you feel like uh, in the advent of streaming, probably the Sugar Hill Gang took quite a hit. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> they they could maybe use some uh, property. Hey, you never know. May- oh, I know what I could do. What? I could turn it into the Sugar Hill Gang Museum. <gasps> that what sounds a great. great. Idea. And I can a have all profit. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah, non profit. Or for or for profit. Well, no, I mean this is this is after I'm gone. So I can make the plans now and it could be a non profit thing and just be a place uh in Sugar Hill where people could go and they could see the origins of the of the gang. Sure. And uh, I could. What, have- what would be in the museum? Would it be like uh, I, I'm? Uh, I can only imagine a, a very large window overlooking uh, uh, Wonder Mike's backyard, where yeah. it all of course. Goes down. You got to have that. I, I maybe even want to knock out a wall to make the window even bigger. You know, sure. so you could you could like it, it would be like you you're walking into uh, a, 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 an environment like a terrarium. Uh, you know, looking out, and then you feel like you're a bug trapped in there. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds, sounds great. Awesome. <laughs> Maybe you could have some of their furniture from the old. I don't know whether uh, whoever bought oh, that's, Wonder Mike's that's long gone. That's long gone. Okay, um, so maybe yeah. maybe one of the gold records or something like that. If I could get my hands on one, that would be terrific. Cal, I have an important question for you. Um, this may help you to get a gold record because maybe you'll maybe if you could decipher this. Ooh. When you say choreo, is it like? Corey dash O, or is it like the beginning of choreography? It sounds. <laughs> or I is mean, it like the cookie Oreo with a K? Great question. You uh, almost both right. <laughs> <laughs> it is K O R Y dash capital O. So like Candy O, the Cars album, but with Corey and with a K. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I think I got it. I think it sounds adorable. Well, I hope you got it. I mean, I did spell it. (laughs) Sure. (laughs) And you gave us a lot of clues afterwards. A lot of clues. (laughs) A lot of people who give so many clues after they just spelled it. Sure. You're like the snowman. So many clues. Oh, Mr. Policeman. 
Um, so yeah, what else could you? I mean, it's look. If can I were I, to go to the Sugar I, Hill Museum, can and, I say something? I, yeah. I'm really hung up on this idea of knocking out that wall and making it all glass, so you feel like you're a terrarium, a bug in a terrarium. And Maybe I you think, can do it uh, even without the museum idea. Well, yeah, I think what I want to do is just create an environment where people feel like the bugs in a terrarium. <laughs> This sounds so, right. Uh, yeah, like a nature museum kind of thing instead of... A, see, if I were to go to a Sugar Hill gang museum and there was no gold record, right? no old furniture, and right. all there was was a window <laughs> no. overlooking someone if, else's uh, house. Can you imagine the disappointment if you show up to the Sugar Hill gang museum and there's no <laughs> old furniture? I'd be so mad. I'd, I would think, I drove across the country and there's no chairs. There's no built-in television? <laughs> I would be furious. So instead, do a nature museum idea where people can go inside, feel like they're bugs trapped in a terrarium. You right. can like sort of do a bug's life kind of thing, you know, get giant things uh, and put them in your yeah, house. Yeah, giant things. Sure, like a big shoe or something. And Cal, you, while people are being bugs in a terrarium, you could play Sugar Hill gang music and your music. Here's what I'm thinking. First of all, they walk in. They think it's just a, a, a nature museum where they're bugs. I, Scott, no, I, I don't mean to shoot down your idea, but I think a big shoe is the last thing you'd want to have in there <laughs> when you're trying to make people feel like the bugs. So I would have giant blades of grass. I'd have like a, a big a big dime. Um, How often do you think bugs encounter a big shoe, though? I would say more often than a blade of grass. Or a dime. Then a blade of grass. God, <laughs> hey, but more than a dime. They live in the grass. They do live in the grass. Um, I what mean, about a saggy, a shaggy Jewia? <laughs> Would you maybe instead maybe of I a put dime? a shaggy Jewia in there? What's but I feel name? like I feel like it, that a dime. Everyone a dime never changes, and it hasn't for such a long time. Everyone would know the dime and the size, and they would say, "I know what size a dime is." Now I know what size yeah. I am compared to the dime. I'd be afraid if you got a penny that people would think they were in Batman's cave. Don't be afraid. <laughs> I'm not, I mean, I'm not terrified. I'm so just they, like a little nervous about it. So they go in the living room. That's the, that's the entrance. And, uh, and that's, uh, so I have like a, uh, you know, like a, uh, just a light that's pointed at them that say, now it's time to shrink you down to bug size. And <laughs> then there's a, a noise like beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, beep, beep. And then I say, well, now you're bug size. And when you go in the next room, that's you're going to be the size of a bug. And then they walk in there, and it's the blades of grass, and it's the dime. And um, <laughs> and maybe the shoe. Know, no, I, 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 Scott, I'm, I'm sorry. I got to put my foot down about this. No pun intended. Scott, try, <laughs> stop, Scott try, stop trying to be the CEO of the insect place. <laughs> Thank you, Bean. I'm just saying. I think I got I to gotta say the shoe doesn't feel right to me. <laughs> so if the shoe doesn't fit. I must uh, uh, quit. admit. I must admit, I don't like it. <laughs> if um, the shoe doesn't fit, then don't add it to the bug museum. Classic. There we go. That now <laughs> that I can get behind. <laughs> so then there's like I do. I record like a voiceover that's saying, "Now you're a bug. Look around. Why not, why not do it live? Well, I'm just, just like Bill O'Reilly would. <laughs> because I'll be, I'll be, I'll have passed on, Scott. This is the plan. Oh, after. oh, I thought that you were doing this while you were still alive. No, okay. no, no. This is this is once. This is when I. This is my. This is my legacy. Oh, is I that see. Uh, when I die, uh, since I don't have any heirs to pass the the house on to, um, it will become this Got this it. nature museum and a little surprise coming up. Yeah. Would you then on the voiceover introduce yourself as the the recently deceased? Cal Solomon. Hello, I'm the recently deceased Cal Solomon. Well, I wouldn't Solomon. say recently. I think that's going to bump people out. And I, I <laughs> might not mention that I'm deceased. I might, I might just say, hi, this is Cal Solomon, one of, the, uh, one of I thought, the founding members of the Sugar Hill Gang. <laughs> Cal, I know what you could say. You could say, hi, this is Cal Solomon. I am not deceased. Oh, that oh. would definitely, no one would be bummed out by that. They would be, although I feel like it would raise some questions. Like people might be saying, "Why did he say that?" It makes me think he is he is deceased, and he's trying to pretend like he's not. Maybe, maybe. How about this? I would say, "Hi, I'm Cal Solomon." As you hear this, you, chances are I'm deceased, as all human beings are eventually. Mm. Now I yeah, think I'm back I to the original problem. <laughs> How about how about this? I say, <laughs> hey everybody, never mind who I am. 
Here's a recording of me. <laughs> now I'm starting to wonder who you are. Though. But you did say hey at the beginning, so it got my attention. That's an Easter egg for the super fans. Sure. <laughs> so, so uh, Easter I, eggs I, within the voiceover. Giant Easter eggs are going to be in this? Is that what you're saying? Scott, I think you... Do you really think that's what I meant? Maybe. if a, I mean, if a giant... Well, I, not, that's a yes or no question. Do you really think that's what I meant? No. Okay. <laughs> I thought as much. You're just trying to have fun. I get it. It's a fun show. <laughs> so uh, so the recording would continue. Now you're a bug. Look around. Everything's uh, the grass is so much bigger than you thought. That's what it's like to feel to be a bug. Uh-oh, there's the weed whacker. Look out because it's coming <laughs> to get you. Not really. I'm just kidding around. It's a sound effect. Don't be scared. Look around. See that dime? You've never seen a dime so big. But if you're a bug, that's how big all times are. Uh now come with me to the next room. And the next Ooh. room uh, is is the next room is the kitchen. So what are we gonna do in there? Probably more big blades of grass. De- demolish it, Carol. Yeah, I'd have to demolish the kitchen and put in more blades of grass. And I'd say, g- g- continuing the tour. Yeah, that's right. A- a- being a bug is a lot of grass. You see it everywhere you go because to you. Uh, what is a great a, 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 a short distance of of uh, a, a short measure of distance for a human being is a great chasm of miles. So, uh, <laughs> going through a backyard for you is a, a legendary trek, but for a human being, it's like no big deal. So, <laughs> then I say on to the next room, and that is the bedroom that I have demolished. Put in the big window that overlooks Wonder Mike's backyard. Why demolish the bedroom? God, that was what you just asked. Cal was asinine. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I thought that you said you demolished the bedroom to put in a window. No, you you demolished the wall. I've demolished. Well, it's a demo on the bedroom too because we're getting yeah. rid of closets. We don't need those. Okay. So uh, all you need is just a big empty room with one big window that overlooks Gwanda Mike's backyard, mm. and of course, gotta have the signature giant blades of grass in there. <laughs> And then what happens is I say on the recording, I say, uh, hey, do you hear that? And then the soft strains of Rapper's Delight start coming in on the recording. The volume first is low and then it gets increasingly louder. And I say, welcome. I say, welcome, bugs, to the wonderful world of rap music. And then and – then, you, you're hearing you're hearing rap music like no bug ever could because you still have your human ears. <laughs> and then the song plays to its completion. The doors are locked for the duration of the song. That might be legally. I don't know if I'm allowed to yeah. do that, but I don't want anyone to leave before the song is over. But I will have to investigate. Are you allowed to lock a, uh, paying customers in a room for the duration of Rapper's Delight? Well, they do it okay. for safe rooms, right? I don't know. Are the, are the rooms really locked? <laughs> I mean, I, I, one can only presume that there's some sort of emergency button that they can press. But then why wouldn't everyone press it? I think because the fun is to figure out the, the mystery. <laughs> yeah. they Scott, they paid for the fun of figuring out a life problem. So that's what I'm saying is people are paying for the fun of going into your museum. Why would they leave before a rap song is over? I guess there's probably some sort of disclaimer or, or, or waiver I can have people sign. But then I don't want to give too much away. Because right. if you say like, and by the way, you can by signing this, you consent to being locked in a room for, you know, four and a half minutes. Uh, you know, and then people say, why? And then you don't want to, you don't want to spoil the surprise of, I'm going to introduce bugs to rap music. Right. And especially if, especially if you already said, hi, I'm Cal. I'm, I am not deceased. Then right. you've already got him on a second why. And you, you're not trying to make this a why experience. I want it to be fun. I want, I want it to be a, 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 a wonderful experience where people can go. They can feel like a bug and learn about rap music. <laughs> what, what, I, I guess, don't you think most people would know about rap music coming into this? Or do you think the process of them turning into a bug would then wipe their memory of any rap I guess I, that I guess have? I'm assuming if you go to an nature museum and a voiceover says, now you're a bug, you put yourself in a bug mindset. <laughs> okay. Okay. This makes sense to me. <laughs> this sounds good to me. I mean, wouldn't you? 
I would. <laughs> well, uh, Cal, this sounds great. I hope this happens for you. If you I need hope it any, does too. If you need any kind of uh, 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 you know uh, paperwork in order to get this going, uh, Legal Zoom, of course, they're not a law firm, but uh, you know you can go to their website and they just, sound like a group of interesting people. <laughs> <laughs> I really could, do. Also, I, I could remember that. <laughs> I could lend or give you a lot of money for this, Cal. That's wow. all I forgot. Bean Dip is, you know, has a ton of money. You're a uh, millionaires. Uh, oh, wow. Bean Dip. I didn't, I had no idea. What's that like? It must feel great. It feels great, man. It makes life easy. People say money's not everything, but they don't understand that when you have money, you don't have any concerns. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they don't get about it. <laughs> but what about, I'd heard that more money equals more problems. Is that not true? Have you heard that rap song? I can't Cal? believe you what know that, song? Cal. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> you got to keep up with the... I guess I do. I'm really behind. That like, was in the 90s, too. That was... Uh, still, that's way more recent than I thought Cal would know. <laughs> that's true. Well, look, guys, we're running out of time. We uh, only have time for one final feature here on the show, and that's a little something called plugs. Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? Spike like Jones or diminish like spinach. If you want plugs, little buddy, you can get it. Fit it under 30 seconds. Got it, thought they gonna pick it. Yeah, plugs. Wow, I like that beat. Cal, was that inspiring to was you? Was that all? Tupac Shakur? <laughs> <laughs> so you know. You've heard that name. I've heard the name for sure, yeah. (laughs) Sure. Uh, No, that was licensed to plug by Grendel's friends. Uh, Maybe we should play that again, and and you could get in on there, uh, Cal, and and you could could try a little something. I mean, I'll try, sure. Okay, yeah, let's play it again. This is licensed to plug by Grendel's friends. Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? Spike like Jones or diminish like spinach. If you want plugs, hey, little buddy. Hey, have you ever listened to some plugs at your friend's house? And you, oh, I, I, no, this is immediately off the bat. Wow. Well, because wow. he was, he was, he was rapping too. Yeah. And I, I, I was trying to rap and listen to him at the same time. That probably happened to you with the Sugar Hill Gang too. Maybe. I wonder, I wonder if maybe Cal just hears it and then goes off without music. Oh, okay. So, so like, should we start the song? The, and it then... gets me warmed up. Uh huh. Okay, and let's then try I that. go, yeah, because it's short. So, it's Devin, short we'll, we'll cut it off after, you know, 15 seconds or so. Here we go. <laughs> Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? Spike like Jones or diminish like spinach. If you want plugs, little buddy, you can get it. Fit it under 30 seconds. Got it, thought they gonna pick it. Yeah. Hey, did you ever listen to some plugs at a friend's house when you thought that it was gonna be a museum where you feel like a bug? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like the concept is like three hats on four hats. I don't know. Like back in the back in the days of the Sugar Hill Gang, like the the beats were a little slower, and you could, <laughs> yeah, you could really- and, and you could also talk about the the fact that rap was new. Yeah, and you shouldn't be afraid of it a lot. Yeah, I felt like, how am I going to fit the rap explanation in there? Yeah, and rap has evolved a little. What bit am I going to brag 40 about? Forty years. <laughs> Well, guys, what are we plugging here? Uh, Bean Dip, do you have anything to plug uh, here in the new year? I mean, I think, I guess for right now, I would just tell people everyone's still binging things. So if you have, if you haven't watched the first season of The Righteous Gemstones, my friend is on it. Go watch it. Oh, that, yeah, that was a good show, and I liked everyone on it. So, uh, yeah, watch Bean Dip's friend on that show. Great. <laughs> uh, Cal, anything that you want to plug? Yeah, I guess I just want to plug a bunch of podcasts. Uh, that I'm not on. Um, Freedom, uh, uh, Stay F. Homekins, and the name I'm on that one, by the way. Freedom, uh, the one. Are I you really? Yeah, yeah. I'm well. Which well, one I, are you? I, I hardly ever get to talk because the other two constantly interrupt me. <laughs> Maybe it's for the best. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Maybe they're trying to save you from embarrassing yourself like I did with the Sugar Hill like, Gang. Like the Sugar Hill Gang should have done with you. I wish. <laughs> um, so the, uh, the freedom stay of Homekins, uh, which is this nice married couple that started a podcast in pan, in the, during the pandemic and the neighborhood listen, which is a fun improv podcast based on the next door, uh, social networking app. And those are all free wherever you get your podcasts. I love it. All right. Well, I want to, I plug- don't care. Okay. <laughs> I kind of pop by the best. I got Damn. You. 
Um, I want to plug Freedom as well, and uh, I also want to plug uh, Auntie Donna's Big Old House of Fun, which is out there on Netflix. Sure. Uh, and uh, season one is out there, and uh, people should watch it. It's uh, six episodes, pretty short. And, it's got and fun really- in the name. Yeah, and it's it's fun, and we're looking for a season two, so we need people to watch it. So, uh, do any other? Can I ask you a question, Scott? Yeah, do any jukeboxes appear on that show? I think so, and maybe episode six. Oh man, I love to see a jukebox on a TV yeah. show. You should check that out. Episode what six. It- watch watch the first five before it, and then six. Yes. What you- exactly is the show, Scott? Well, it's a bizarre sketch show starring uh, three Australian types. Uh, wow. People doing doing fake Australian accents yes. the entire show, which oh, wow. you, you'd be like, how do they keep that up? But they do it somehow. That sounds interesting. Yeah. I'm intrigued. <laughs> it's a lot like those legal Zoom people. Interesting. An interesting um, group of people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, before we do this, though, I want to say we finally uh, we uh, we released the new plug bag theme last week. And within 24 hours, we got three separate remixes. So we're going to be hearing them over successive weeks. Let's hear, uh, first of all, our old friend Michael Hardigan, who's done so much scoring work uh, for us for the solo bolos and for the plug bag. Let's hear his remix. Let's close up the old plug bag. When you see something open, get a rope up and start to twist. Then you find that you're getting a little I missed. You think you're crying and you know what to do. Get up in there and do what you do. You gotta open up the bar bag. Open it up. Open up the bar bag. Make sure it's not closed. Open up the bar bag. Make sure you got oxygen. And don't mess around with it. Make yeah. sure you don't mess around. Don't mess around. You make sure you don't mess around. 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 Open that shit. Yeah. Great job, Michael Hardigan. Guys, wow. what do you think of that? Awesome. You know, I feel like that that maybe it would be helpful if I had another guy when I try to do the rap. So I say a word, and then it's the other guy's problem to come up with the, the rhyming <laughs> so word. So tag team it. Yeah. Yeah. So if I say, if I end with do, then he also ends with do. <laughs> well, not the same word. Huh. Oh, well, that's what they did. <laughs> that was the very first rhyme i thought that was a new i thought it was like well that makes sense mm, just use the same word new style of rap <laughs> it automatically rhymes <laughs> well guys i want to thank you uh, for being on the show bean dip so good to see you and uh, great to hear about your sister i'm glad she's finally safe or will be safe soon uh yeah. maybe bring her on the show next time sure next time i'll bring bean shocky if she's not taking her now Thanks for having me, Scott. How, 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 how many hours a day is she taking a nap? Seems like about 10 to 12. But how Ooh. many is it actually? <laughs> well, probably about 30, <laughs> but seems like every time she takes a 30 minute nap, I'm like, wake up. It's like, I need to do stuff with you. I need to play. <laughs> okay. Boy, that's one thing about being a kid I miss playing. <laughs> Bean Dip's not a kid, by the way. I don't know if you know that. Oh, Bean Dip, how old are you? <laughs> I'm a grown woman, well, 36. Oh, wow. I was going to say, what a remarkable achievement for a child to be a millionaire. <laughs> well, who's that kid who opens up uh, uh, and plays with toys on YouTube? They're a millionaire, I think. I, I saw an interview with that child where he was asked, why do you think people like you so much? And he said, because I'm entertaining and funny. <laughs> I mean, he knows what people like. I mean, only we could get there on this show. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, Cal Solomon, great to see you. You're one of our uh, uh, favorite guests. You did give me oh, a little wow. pushback on the giant shoe today, which well, I don't. I'm not accustomed I'm, uh, with you. I know, have. I know, and I hate to do it. I, I, I hope I wasn't rude, but I do think that if you're going to make people feel like a bug, you probably shouldn't put a giant shoe in there. <laughs> That's great words for 2021. Uh, we can all live by that this year. Uh, all right. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>